Given the success, well, given the huge success of the first film, did you did you come into Edward this time? Did you come into New Moon with a bit more confidence in the character? Um, or playing the character? Yeah, I mean, I, I, and also I'd had so much time to think about how I wanted to improve my performance and stuff from uh, the first one. Yeah, it was nice, and it was also a smaller part and stuff, so I could actually change it a little bit, and there wasn't too much. There was no, no pressure. pressure. Yeah, yeah, there was n there was just hardly any pressure on me at all, and also. I mean, Chris White's director, he's a very kind of calm presence, and he wanted he wanted the actors to kind of follow the natural progression of, of their characters. So, yeah, I was, I was definitely a lot more confident in this one. And how different is it? I know we've got Catherine directed the first movie, and you've got Chris, and you've got David Slade now directing Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Does it help or does it hinder having separate directors, or did he bring something different that helps your performance? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, like, I mean, they're all completely different people. And I think they're going to be completely different films. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Catherine's got this kind of like wildness and like almost like like sometimes kind of childlike purity about the way she sees things, which I think is good for like you yeah. know when when you're doing a f discovering first love story because it's it's like unexplainable and stuff. I and mean, Chris is you know has uh, a much more. Uh, you know, uh, literary, I guess, that's not the best word for it, but <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, kind of mentality. And so he kind of looks for, you know, the way to analyze emotions mm -hmm. and stuff, which I think was kind of perfect for New Moon. And, and David's just very like, uh, he wanted to kind of emphasize the sort of harshness of the third movie, which is, and there's a, there's a massive war going on. So I guess yeah, that's, yeah. I guess that's good for that too. Well, Chris has spoken that he was, he was somewhat surprised that yourself and Chris took the, took the role so seriously, considering that it's a franchise. You could probably just, you know, sleepwalk your way through, but yourself and Chris took the roles obviously very, very seriously. Is that just trying to ensure that the chemistry is still there to make sure that it carries through for the next couple of movies? No, I mean it's just like we never went into it to it's like mm. it's it's not like I'm not gonna like quote other <laughs> other movies and like single them out, but I mean it it wasn't a franchise when we first yeah. did it. No one had any idea. I had no uh, even though I signed on for like more than one film, I had You weren't expecting uh, that no, level of success. Yeah, that I didn't even know we were gonna do sequels. I mean I, I, I never even thought about it. And uh yeah, I thought I was gonna do that when we just go back to London. I mean I uh, you don't even think about it at the time. And then, I guess we're quite like prideful people as well. I mean, it would just be—it's silly just to kind of uh, not do it to the best of your ability. Yeah. Right. But it, like the last year in particular has obviously been—it's been pretty crazy for you. It's been pretty like pretty much like Beatlemania. How do you even begin to deal with that? Like, and is it—is it a case of just trying to avoid the paparazzi, or is it just like stay in, go out, just be careful where you're going? Or yeah, I mean, it's I'm I'm. I do tend to like try and avoid uh, unnecessary like like paparazzi confrontations. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of mainly because I don't want to see it be seen to be encouraging it. And I think the more you hide, the more the more people are just. I think they respect you a little bit more as well. Like all the guys who are trying to get the they're photo, they're trying to get your photograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they understand it. I mean, it's kind of there are some of them who just who just you know. <laughs> get it too get less either yeah. way, <laughs> but like, but uh, yeah. I mean, I guess there is a certain amount of out of hiding and stuff. Because I know things got a little bit crazy in New York. Shouldn't remember me. Yeah. With, with Pierce Brosnan, did Pierce give you any advice? Given that he was he was Bond and he had something similar, maybe not to that level, but yeah. Did he have any advice? Well, I mean, it's just kind of like just saying, you know, it's not going to always be like that, which is. You know, in some ways, a bad thing for your career. So it's kind of, but it's true. I mean, it does, it, you can feel things changing. Even like when Taylor being the lead in this one, you really feel the difference. I mean, it was just it's so it's such a it's such a, a change having three leads instead of two. Um, and Taylor is very like he's very much the lead in the movie. So uh, it's it's interesting seeing how quick things change. And so you don't really yeah you can't really let it get to you. So it's, it's obviously very important for you to go off and to try and do different things and to not be pigeonholed as Edward. Mm -hmm. You've got another, I don't know if you started shooting the Unbound Captives with, with Madeline Stowe. Next, yeah. next year, that kind of 
probably halfway through next year. So that's you, there's been a, a lot of buzz about the script for that one. So that's obviously something that you must be very excited about. You got Hugh Jackman there as well, is it? Uh, and Rachel Weisz. And Rachel Weisz as well. Um, yeah, I mean it's going to be. I mean I've never done anything, anything like it. it's a western and. A, you sure your character speaks in a different language? He doesn't speak English for you. He speaks in Comanche the okay. whole time. And all the scenes with Hugh Jackman uh, and Comanche, because he speaks as well. He's, he's bilingual. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be... And I think it's just a... Because it's a big-budget movie as well, and it's so, so different to anything that's coming out. I mean, it's really asking a lot of an audience. I mean, it's an amazing script, but, I mean, it's like reading a novel. Um, it, it doesn't... It doesn't pander to anyone, so I, I think. Uh, is that what is that what convinced you to sign on, or was it the yeah, density in the script and Madeline as well as a, as a first time director? Yeah, and all, she wrote it as well. She wrote it as well. And, like she's and and so and she's been trying to make it for ten years. And if you see, there's like the story of the script. I mean, who offered to make it, and who who was going to direct it, who was going to star, and the fact that she held on and 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 uh, and now was directing it herself. It's kind of incredible. I mean. So she, it obviously matters an enormous amount to her, and as a bit as like Terence Malick's whole team like shooting it, it's this kind of incredible uh, team of people behind it. Okay, and then we've got now we got to wrap things up. But uh, how did Eclipse go? How did the shooting Eclipse go? Are you happy with the of what you have? Are you finished shooting? Finished shooting, yeah. There's, uh, yeah, I went mean, all right. Those are kind of was, uh, that massively different movie to um, to New Moon. I mean, there's so many more main parts I mean it, it's a real and having these huge battle sequences I mean I've never done anything like it in, in any of the other movies I mean David Slade's last movie was three days and it was pretty hardcore so yeah, yeah I mean there's a lot of I mean I think it's really pushing the kind of uh, like I don't know what rating Twilight was in in, uh, in, in England but like the kind of American like PG-13 rating like, I think it's like pushing it to that it's absolute limit it, yeah. it'd be so funny if it came out and it's R-rated <laughs> make some cuts <laughs> and it's an 18 <laughs> oh, Robert we really appreciate taking the time to speak to me sir cool. thanks, thanks a million thanks very much we'll brush your days and too painful <laughs>